All right, we're going to look at another rotoscope exercise and delve a little bit more deeply into rotoscoping. So we're inside of the same project and we're going to set up a new composition. So I'm going to double click and open up the file called Excel. It's one of, uh, one of my actors going through a scene. And I'm going to drag that down and make a new composition. And it starts with him turning around and then turning back. And I'm just going to do a few frames. I'm only going to do about 10 frames or 15 frames. So I'll start the clip here. I'm going to grab the work area start and drag it to there. So, uh, you know, usually you might have to do quite a few more uh, frames in this, but I'm only going to do a handful so that we don't have to spend all day rendering. Let's go from there to there. I'm going to grab that and drag that to there. So I'm only going to do a handful of frames. And we're going to go up to composition, trim comp to work area. Okay, so now we've got just a few frames of the actor standing relatively still. All right. So once again, we want to activate the rotoscope tool. We're going to come up double click with the selection tool on the artwork so that we're inside of the anim uh, the uh, video itself. We're going to grab the rotoscope tool, the roto brush, and we're going to make a selection by dragging around. And there it is. So we did pretty good, but you can see where it's falling apart. I have to add over here and I have to subtract in here. So I'm going to hold down the Alt key and drag up through there. And then I have to subtract around here. And now oops, I have to subtract over here too, don't I? So it's adding where you want it to subtract, and sometimes you just have to spend a little time with it. Okay, so now I'm gonna hit the page down button and check the animation, check the motion. I'm just gonna keep hitting that page down button and it's tracking pretty good. We're pretty lucky here. And then I'm going to grab the little, little roto brush squeezer here, drag it all the way to the end. So I wanted to take into account all the frames. Doing something a little weird here by his head. Let's grab the zoom tool. Let's zoom in and take a look. So you can see that we need to take that rotoscope and kind of get up in there a little tighter. Oops, wrong direction. So I hold down Alt. Oops, went way too far. I'm undoing it. Hold down Alt to cut away. And sometimes it can just be a real pain. I just leave it at that. Let's zoom out. Hit the space bar. I mean, hit the uh, down arrow to page down. And it's tracking pretty good. All right, let's jump over into the composition and we can see where it's falling apart. I didn't notice that hole in his chest, right? So we've got to go back and clean that up.
Let's go back. It should have been cleaned up. Let's see here. So when we get to frame, let's see if we're tracking. Okay. So the reason why I wanted to to uh, do this was to explain to you um, something about the hair, right? So we're going to go back in and we're going to look at, in addition to the roto brush tool, right? We can play with the feather. We can play with the contrast and all that. Underneath the roto brush is the refine edge tool. And lots of times you'll need to take that and run that along the hairline or anything fuzzy. And that'll help find the difference between those tufts of hair. So I can start that from the beginning and get that refine edge tool, run that along that hairline. Now let's go back and let's take a look. See, it kind of clean up the hair a little bit. Let's drop something behind it. Grab that background, drag it and drop it in. And we're going to put that behind figure. Let's take a look. So you can My see. Words. And even if you did, it doesn't. Just going to take a few minutes. Just render a few frames. And you can see where the where the hairline works. You can see where the mask fell apart in a couple of locations. We have to go back. And you just go back and clean that up, right? Get it nice and, and uh, clean, right? So let's just render a few frames. I'll just drag this over. Let's it Model over those words. And even if you did, it doesn't mean what. All right, let's grab that and drag that over. Model those words. Model those. We'll turn off the audio. Let's play it. So you can see where um, it held up pretty nicely in some spots. And then there's a few frames here where we'd have to clean up um, to go in and, and do a little bit more rotoscoping here on those edges. And something weird happened there. But that's basically the process that you'll go through Modern 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 when you are using the rotoscope tool. And in this case, we went in and we worked a little bit with that refine edge tool. And you can select that and uh, go into the layer and edit with the refine edge, which will help with the edge of the areas that you want to refine, usually hair. And then there's also the roto brush tool itself with the feather contrast and so on. And so we only did a handful of frames because I don't want to beat you up with it. Um, you know, it can be pretty tedious. You have to go in frame by frame and, 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 and edit that precisely. So those are your roto uh, brush rotoscope exercises.